Are you trying to build the best team in Madden? Well, head on over to instantmuckcoins.com to avoid the packs, save some racks. Link is in the description below. Use code CC now for 20% off. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We got information coming for the it's called Autumn Blast, but the Thanksgiving promo. It's it's just it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, whatever they call it is uh, is what it is. It is coming tomorrow morning, 1030 Eastern. So Monday the 16th. Okay not here yet unless you're watching this after then it is it is here so let's just go into it there's a lot uh to cover so uh they mentioned there will be limiteds multiple limiteds throughout the program uh harrison smith is the first one okay so i mean that card's not very good but cool um yeah uh so this is part one part two is coming on friday there's probably other stuff coming as well uh so there's gonna it's it's a very typical very structured mutt promo here uh, we got some of the lower elite cards here theme teamers right a couple more guys for the theme teams you're getting a cool comet rookie premiere upgrade though so i mean 84 is not bad uh some of the higher rated cards here we get trey boston eh, theme team uh corey davis uh theme team leonard williams theme team Mr. Villanueva is also on, going to be on a theme team. Uh, Joe Schobert was on two theme teams. Uh, Anthony Sherman is probably actually usable. Uh, and then we get our master Tony Romo at 94 overall. And this is, this is kind of structured exactly how I wanted it to be. Make the master really high overall. 94 powers up to 95. Make the set give you four 92s and get to keep them all and that's exactly what they did now this may not be your favorite card i mean romo besides the, the the improviser part of it looks pretty good like this i mean he's tony romo is not the fastest guy in the world okay i get it he's not the fastest guy in the world but 92 throw power uh super good accuracy elsewhere is it's a, it's a good card it's totally usable I don't know if you'd want to use it, but it is indeed uh, usable. Uh, there is a new currency coming, Fallen Leaves, of course, is currency. It's always. Uh, but in the solos that we're getting, so there's two solo strings coming, one for uh, a card that goes in the Tony Romo set, another one that is a performance-based card on the Thanksgiving Day games. You can get a free one from the solos for each of them, so it's a 91 that could potentially get upgraded, uh, or in a 92. So the solos are not bad, <laughs> not bad at all. I'll take it. Uh, so we see here, autumn blast solos right here. Standard, uh, you're gonna play these through in your autumn all-star, the 91 is the Thanksgiving day card. We're gonna show you those cards uh, and we'll go over that. You see the guys right here, little tease. Uh, da -da 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 more of this. And this is the second one, the autumn aces. For, forgive for what everything is called. <laughs> um, these are the cards that go into the Tony Romo set. Okay. Again, you can play and get a free one. Oh, so, cool. Uh, Tony Romo is your master right there. Again, we see everything here. By playing this, you get a fantasy pack and you get to choose which one of these cards you want to upgrade to 92 throughout the solos. If you are not going to be doing the Tony Romo set. Obviously, Scherf, Cox, Fletcher Cox, and Pat Pete are, are the guys. Alan Robinson's just not a very good card. We'll show you the stats. Uh, here, again, these actually look pretty easy. Uh, Fletcher Cox, good good defensive tackle. Kind of looks like me and Joe, which is not a bad thing at all. Uh, Scherf, solid right guard. No power up, though. Keep that in mind. Uh, Alan Robinson, not a usable card. Uh, and Pat Pete is a usable card. Imagine that Pat Pete being the best card you can pick. So, uh, I like the Pat Pete card. The Sheriff, Sheriff has a power up, doesn't he? I think he does. I think he does. I think that screen's wrong. He should. <laughs> a good player. Uh, and then you can go through these other ones and you can earn your 91 overall autumn all-star with 70 stars. Again, these are going to be good cards. These are cards that if they hit... Either one of those marks it says on the card. So here are four receptions, 70 plus yards. 
with each one of those he hits, he's going to get a plus one overall, which is basically just a plus one to all the stats. So we know that. Uh, Ebron, eh, I don't know. Uh, Jalen Smith, again, linebackers, unfortunately pointless. Don't like that. Uh, Kendall Fuller, not a bad free safety here at all. Uh, Deshaun Watson. I mean, Deshaun Watson's not a bad card. Des Trufant. <sighs> Falcons team team. Again, he's not bad. Uh, and then there's Hollywood Brown, who is, the, who is obviously the card that everyone is going to pick. Now we'll go through and we'll, we'll, we'll base the odds on this for you as, as to how this is going to work. But this, this looks like one of, the, one of the best cards in the game. So far, this is the best card in the promo. We all know that, right? I don't care if you're, if you were from Pittsburgh, you are going to be a Marquise Brown fan next Thursday. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, so when we get into the sets, uh, there's this granny's recipe book where you can add some cards in and you get a random Nat. Uh, player, we'll probably try that. See if it, how it is. Uh, who, who knows how hard those cards are to get? Again, with Romo, as you complete his set, you're gonna get all four of those 92s back. Nat, so Robinson, Sure, Fletcher Cox, Pat, Pete, Tony Romo's power up, Tony Romo. So it's a good set. It's a good set, even though they're not my favorite cards. Uh, in the store, there's a 150 point offer as always. Uh, there are roll sets, which again are not capped, 80 plus, 85 plus, both things we like. They have fantasy packs here for the Autumn Aces, those are the 92s. I also have Cornucopia back here. Before you get excited, just don't, okay? Just don't. We'll show it to you. Uh, there's also this fantasy pack. Uh, also here, I guess it is here. Uh, so it's 4,000 leaves, which we don't really know the value of leaves yet, right? But it's an 89 plus player from the 50 Autumn Blast Team of the Week Legends. It's just one card. It's one card. You can do it 10 times. Am I, am I going to do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Of course I'm going to do it. <laughs> I mean, we're going to try it, but I'm not going to like it. I don't think uh, I know uh, they showed a couple examples. Uh, one was an 89 Derwin James, one was a 92 Deacon Jones pulled from it. Okay, again, it's going to depend on the value of these leaves. Uh, the Autumn All-Star Fancy Pack is the only other place to get these Autumn All-Star cards. So if you want them, you're going to have to save up some leaves for it. 5,350 leaves. And then we get to Harrison Smith here at the beginning. So uh, there, there's a lot of good solos to do, whether you're in money spent, no money spent. Very good. Uh, the structure of the Tony Romo set is good. Maybe not the cards themselves, but the structure is good. Uh, when we get into the, the currency and the roll sets, those look good. We have more coming. Obviously, that's what we want. Hollywood Brown is indeed uh, the best card so far, for sure. Uh, now, let's take a look. Tony Romo is an improviser. is going to go up to 95 overall. Okay. Now, uh, Lamar Jackson's an improviser as well, right? So we can see what is he going to get? What is he going to be missing? So he's going to be able to get, uh, none of these, none of these. Will he get playmaker? He might get playmaker. Gunslinger. Can he get Gunslinger? Let's pull this back up. We gotta, we gotta go check out the stats. Let's look at these a little more better. That's a terror. This horrible English. I apologize. My lord. Uh, 95 throw power is needed for Gunslinger. He's gonna have 93. He needs 95 awareness for Playmaker. Not that you're gonna spend 5 AP on it, but you could. Um, he's not going to get hot route master. He doesn't get conductor. He'll probably get identifier. So 92 throw power. It's almost like they intentionally made it that way. He would have been a good card. Otherwise he would have, people would have honestly used him. Um, in his second slot here, uh, a lot of stuff you need is 96 overall. So he's obviously not going to get that stuff, unfortunately. But again, he's missing out on gunslinger by two throw power. 
Uh, and Playmaker is just too expensive with five, I think. So. <sighs> Yay, sports. It's in the game. Oh, it's in the game, isn't it? But I am looking forward to see what else they have coming. Um, honestly, I like what we have so far. I, I don't, like I said, I don't love the master set. I, I know I said before, it's like the Romo card's probably not going to be super usable. It, you could still use it. Um, but if you're playing, uh, you kind of need Gunslinger or Escape Artist or something. And he doesn't really get either of them. Doesn't get Hara Master. He, he just like for abilities, it's, it's not a good card. Statistically, it's a good card. Um, but the Hollywood Brown is cool. It's going to obviously keep us wanting to get that card. Uh, remember, he's 93 speed card. That's a lot of speed on a card. And uh, his, his best comparison is DK Metcalf here. So DK powered up is 94 speed. So Hollywood's not quite there, but he does already hit the deep route running threshold. If you want to use him there, if he gets... If he hits both his targets, he'll be 95 speed stock. Um, so he'll be basically uh, one speed faster than DK. So that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. I hope he hits it. That is it. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh, obviously going over the packs, the sets, uh, the solos. I'm going to start playing and grinding solos out. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch tonight uh, on my No Money Spin account. So if you want to come by, come on by. Appreciate it. Catch you guys tomorrow. I love you. I'm out. Peace.